Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KipAdger.com here to bring you another gear review. And today, I'm talking about this guy right here, which is the AG Cashmere Schma by Prometheus Design Works. We'll go ahead and start with a little bit of backstory. About a year ago, as of filming this, I ended up getting a bunch of gear in from Prometheus Design Works to put in some time with and ultimately create some video reviews on. This was in there. It was in this nice little neat plastic package. I was like, what is this? I'm like, oh, cashmere schma. And then I set it to the side and it stayed over there for a number of weeks till finally I broke it out. Because history with me in schmas, usually over in Afghanistan, use it largely to just keep the sun off of me and wrap myself up if you're dust storm, something along those lines, so you're not breathing that in, or during the winter over there, largely to keep particulates out when in Kabul everyone decides to burn tires to stay warm. So when I saw this, I was like, well, not really working in Kabul anymore. Don't need to keep the sun off me this time of year. And it kind of sat there. Conversation with my buddy, Matt, over at Jerking the Trigger. And I was like, oh yeah, and I got this too. And he's like, what? Man, I've been wanting one of those. Those things are amazing. I'm like, really, a schma? He's like, yeah, no, the cashmere schma. And starts talking to me about it. Mind you, I have this sitting in a package. Bad on me. Since I've opened it, it has been pretty indispensable once the temperature drops. For me personally, whenever I've ever heard of cashmere, I've always thought like super high-end women's sweaters, things along those lines fancy stuff but it turns out cashmere is actually a pretty incredible like performance material it is finer lighter stronger and significantly warmer than wool so why don't we see it more well it's also kind of cost prohibitive comparatively to wool that said this thing is amazing i've gotten to the point where it comes with me on most adventures and as far as how you can use this, pretty much any way you would use a giant square of material, which is arguably kind of limitless. I mean, this thing is, I believe it's 47 inches by 47 inches. It's really big. So you can, of course, use it as a scarf. You can tie it up pretty much any way you would wear a schma or like a giant bandana, like handkerchief. And yeah, like use this thing as a sling use it to secure a splint, pretty much any of the mundane ways. But honestly, for me, being able to wrap this thing up when it's cold, that's where this thing really shines. Most people are pretty familiar with respect to heat loss from your head. That's why you wear beanies and stuff like that. You lose a significant amount of heat from your head. So you can throw a beanie on or something with a hood, throw that guy on, Depending on the hood, you can zip this up, pull the collar in tight so you don't lose as much heat. But where this comes in for me is essentially taking that to the next level when it is cold out. What I usually do with respect to this, go ahead and wrap it around, make sure it's inside my collar before I zip this thing up. And then, yeah, get everything tucked in zip this guy up then of course if it is really cold i'll have a beanie on i will throw the hood on but this is amazing significant difference as far as the amount of heat that escapes with this versus without this and you're like oh why not just use like a neck gaiter or a scarf or whatever like one just turns into a neck gaiter or a scarf but the amount of warmth comparatively from this to something wool or even synthetic, significant difference. This is incredibly amazing. Not to mention it's cashmere, so soft. Having said all those things, is there a downside? Yes, this is expensive. It is $139 through Prometheus Design Works. They have this as well as a number of other kind of colors, patterns, stuff along those lines. And yeah, man, like, it is not cheap. Do I think everyone should get this? No, probably not. One, like don't get it if you can't afford it. But for me personally, now that I have this, it is amazing. But would I have bought it like a year ago? No, I wouldn't have. Like 
I didn't get it at all. I mean, as I shared with you, this sat in its package for a number of weeks before I finally was like, oh, okay, like, well, let me, let me go try this then. Like, I thought this was pretty much just good for dust and keeping the sun off me. Like, no, this thing's incredible. Like, it is a pretty critical kind of warming layer. And it's like, yeah, you could get a, like, net gate or something like that. And, yeah, you could get a net gator, but your net gator is not this like just from a utility standpoint out in the back country having a piece of material this big and mind you this is really light and it fold it's not there's not loft to it so you can actually fold it up roll it up compress it down not a big deal but yeah i mean just honestly having a piece of material that big that you can improvise things with even if it's a matter of like bringing this across a bunch of different um like plants and stuff, collecting dew, squeeze it out. I mean, the numbers are limitless. It's basically a giant piece of cloth. But when it gets cold, super clutch. And yeah, I definitely never appreciated cashmere to include this until I've had this experience with it. If you're looking for them, you can find them, of course, over at Prometheus Design Works. As I mentioned, a number of different kind of colors, patterns, they have some pretty cool patterns. At one point, I don't know if they still do, they had kind of the World War II Marine Corps frog skin camo, which was pretty awesome. But if you're looking at picking one up or if you have experience with it, let me know down in the comments. I'm curious, yeah, if it's been life-changing for you as well. And if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. A number of different ways, whether it's liking and sharing videos or going over to kitbadger.com picking up targets, KBAT pads, stickers, patches, any of that stuff, or over on Patreon. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.